video you will learn how to do argument matching or how to check argument matching when we use JUnit and Makito to write unit tests. Here I have a business layer class called argument BO class which uses the DAO layer class. This DAO layer class's instance is passed to the business layer through the constructor and then it is used inside the two methods here namely the primitive method and the object method. The primitive method takes three primitive parameters int, float and double and the object method takes one object type as its input parameter. These two are again implemented in the DO layer class which simply adds the three integer values int, float and double values and returns the value as double and then the object method simply returns one. The goal here is to show you how to match these parameters when we stub out our DAO layer class. So now let's look at the test case or test class for this BO class. Here is the JUnit test wherein the first test we have is the test primitive method. We create the instance of the BO layer class, pass it the DAO layer classes object which is mocked out here using the Makito's et mock annotation. Since we are using annotations to mock our objects, we should call the init mocks method inside the setup method with marked with add before annotation. This method can be called any with any name as long at, as it is annotated with the add before junit annotation. Once we create the instance and mock out the DAO, then we need to stub out the methods on the DAO so that the original methods are not called. We use the when class to do that and what you will learn here newly is when dao.primitive method is called with the these type of parameters. So I am saying any int, any float, any double then return the primitive result which is a constant defined here. The three any int, any float and any double methods are static methods defined in the Makito matchers class. So here are all the important imports from the Makito API. So it gives us three methods. Similarly for the other types it has methods which we can use when we stub out our or mock our methods. And then I am using uh, JUnit's assert equals to check that I am getting the appropriate result. So it's that simple to match the types when we come up with mock objects and when we mock the methods. Now to make sure that whatever values I am passing into the primitive types method are being passed to the DAO layers method, we can stub out by saying when DAO.primitive method is called with the exact parameter values which we are using to call the BO's primitive values. Here instead of just checking for the type. I am also ensuring that they get called, the DAO's primitive method gets called with the exact values. So if you read this, what we are doing here is we created the BO layers object, then we mocked out the DAO layers method, then we are making sure, asserting that the value that comes back from the BO layer is what we are expecting. So here the mocked out method on the DAO gets called get what uh, it gets the result whatever we have given here and then the BO method returns that result back. We are also using Makito's verify to ensure that the DAO's primitive method is called with exactly the same inputs which we have passed here. Now the object method when it comes to the object type we again simply mock out the object method by using any and then the class type. This any is again a static method defined in the matchers API in Makito. So you can use any with any class type. To match the exact object type, we say when DAO's dot object method with the exact object which we are creating here is called then return one. Now if I try to change this object 
this test will fail since I am expecting or I am only stepping out for this object. If I create an object one and then pass that object here to my BO object or BO class, this test will fail. So let's see if this test passes to start with, then we'll create a new object, pass that. So this test passes now without any issues. If I create a new param object, say object one is equal to new param object. Now, let me fix that spelling there. Okay, now let me pass this object one to the method on the BO. Let's run the test again. As you can see, the last test immediately fails. That's because what we are mocking here is telling Makito that when the object method on DAO is called with this object, then return one. But we have not mocked out for object one, but we are using object one to call the actual method on the BO. So using the any methods, any type primitive types or any class type methods, you can match and validate the argument matching in the in your J units through the Makito API. And for class types, you can use any and the class type or you can directly do a when on the exact object that you want your test to run or run with. So let me change this, make our test pass. So everything is back to green. So you can download this project, play around with it. If you have any questions, you can always post them.